Welcome to Learning in Limestone. Our goal, success for all. Computer science is becoming a more important part of our technology-driven world every day. Today, we're going to take a look at how students are getting in on the ground floor of coding. Let's take a look. So Tia, tell me a little bit about what we're doing here today at Trudell. All right, so today we are going to be teaching the grade 8 class uh, about uh, different computer science techniques. Um, we're going to teach them the basics of coding with a little program called Lightbot. And pretty much it just teaches them how to tell a uh, computer to do certain tasks and how to sort of make it do what you want with programming. Cool, interesting. And how did you get involved in this? Uh, so we had a coding club uh, poster up and I just sort of noticed it and I've always wanted to sort of get into video gaming and stuff because like I'm a storyteller and stuff like that. So um, it just sort of piqued my interest and they was like, oh, it's Fridays. And I'm like, that's my only free day. So oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about why it's important to start kids young into computer science. It's definitely most important because uh, I didn't start until like not too, too long ago and I'm learning so much. So if I had started off even earlier, like I would have learned like so, so much. Like my friend's little brother goes to Leap for this type of stuff right. and he's like making games, he's like making websites, it's like nuts. Yeah. So like if you start at a younger age, it like really helps to um, building up your information about computer science. But that doesn't mean like you can't really start anywhere. It's just better to start earlier. Right. So Ethan, tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now. So we're just programming this light bot to um, light up all the squares on my screen. Right. And it's very fun. It's just Ex excellent. So how are you doing that? Do you put in controls or? Yes, I use these little squares which put in code and it moves the light bot. Excellent. And have you done any coding like this before? Yes, I have. I've done the Hour of Code on code.org. Awesome. So there's stuff like this available just for free online? Yeah. And do you think you'll continue with anything like this going into high school? Oh, definitely. Yeah? Seems like very fun. So Megan, tell me a little bit what we're doing here on the computer. We're just kind of putting instructions and then telling the light bot what to do and how to move. Excellent. And so it's just these little buttons along here, right? Yeah. And we have to make the little blue squares light up. Do you think you'll continue with coding in high school and computer science? Yeah, it's like fun and it kind of messes with their brain sometimes, so it's like... Yeah. It's like a little, little challenge? Yeah. Yeah, and it's always good to challenge yourself, right? Yeah. Try new things. And can you tell me a little bit about why it's important to learn about coding? Well, like you said, um, it's going to be better, like, if you know how to do it, then like you can get like mostly any job right. that has to do with this. So it's like good for the future, I guess, and it's kind of also important to learn how because if something's wrong and then you will also know how to fix it sometime. Mr. Swain, can you tell me a little bit about how this pop-up coding program came to be? Sure. Uh, basically, we wanted to find a way to get the elementary schools coding a little bit more, understanding what computer science was a little bit more, so that when they came to high school, they had a, you know, a better understanding of the things they could do. And so uh, I talked to my principal at Bay Ridge, and she thought it would be a great idea to visit our feeder schools. And I've been, uh, I've been around to six different schools, and. We've been kind of talking about what computer science is, they've been seeing what we do in the high school, what kind of things we make, and uh, all the while kind of focusing on it's all about creativity and that computer science is really involved in everything these days. And so it's been really cool to see the kids and how engaged they are. Uh, they're, they're asking great questions, they're interested, and then when they get to play on the machines, it's, uh, it's hard to get them to stop, let's put it that way. Computer science a long time ago was limited to people who like to sit and be at a keyboard and kind of solitary, but the world's changed so much that uh, I, I don't think it, you can name a discipline where computers aren't involved. And I think the more they know about computer science, and it doesn't have to be coding, it can be you know any aspect of it, networking or just simply knowing how to navigate your way around file systems. The more they know, the more they can you know, diversify themselves when they get done with high school and it will lead to, you know, more opportunities for employment and uh, that goes for things like agriculture and automotive, things that we never would have thought were computer science -y before. Now it's almost essential that they have that background or else they're not going to be able to, uh, you know, to get a job like they used to. We've seen how coding has become accessible for people of all ages and with coding programs like these, it's easy to see how the learning has come alive. Learning in Limestone is brought to you by the Limestone District School Board.